All right, and welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. I figured I'd give a quick update on this jasmine. I dug this up. This is a sumbak jasmine, I guess it's called, or Arabian jasmine. I dug this up back in September. It was actually the stump. The stump of this one was actually in my yard just a little bit. There was a stump of some other smaller ones planted right on our fence line between me and my neighbor. And so one day we just dug them out, and I dug up and saved the biggest stump. Try to see what I could do with it. It's not a super common subject to make a tree out of, but that's just because it's actually kind of rare to find one that has a, a good trunk. I mean, you know, it's a vine and it's just really not going to make the best traditional tree ever anyway, but, but also they've got to grow a long time before they ever get like a really, you know, woody trunk or anything. This is, I'm going to guess, probably planted in the mid 80s at some point, just from the age of the house and how long you can see that it was growing on the fence there or whatever. It's recovered quite nicely. I mean, when we dug them up, we were pretty brutal with them and everything. I've actually, uh, you know, I've thought about leaving some of the branches super long, trying to wire them. I don't think it's going to take to wire too well. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but I took, well, actually, like, this is a good example. I've been taking some of the branches, and as they kind of stick way up, I've been taking and kind of trying to bend them down a little bit just so that they come straight out rather than being straight up like that. And so this one has been taken into it kind of well. I do want to go ahead and make it a little bit shorter, so I'll just go ahead and cut that off there. i got some new growth coming up there. But like this one, I, I kind of bent it down a little bit, and at one point I did hear it snap. It's still growing and it's still healthy, but instead of like putting all its energy towards in that one where I snapped it, it actually grew another smaller one going straight up there. And so I might let that one become the leader. This one's a little bit bigger, quite a bit bigger. But this one's actually now a little bit closer to the wound there. But I'm actually going to try to cut these wounds down a little bit today too. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this guy up some. I've been pruning it fairly regularly. Once it recovered a little bit, I... The blooms last one day. It blooms pretty regularly as well. I did want to clean some of this growth coming right out of the trunk here. This one's kind of in a bad spot. I can kind of hopefully show you a little. See, that's about the only bloom I've got that's like ready to come out right now. They last one day. They're nowhere near as fragrant as say night blooming jasmine or common jasmine. I have a cape, cape jasmine out front. It smells really nice first thing in the morning. But I did want to clean this trunk up some. There's three larger trunks. I want to try to save the, you know, I have the, the tall one here. And then there's a couple more down lower. I want to save at least one branch coming off each of them because I don't want to have to chop them and just give me all that many more scars to clean up. But it does get a lot of sucker-like growth coming right out of the base. And if I'm going to try to do something with it, I want to at least be able to see the trunk. This is one of the smaller trunks coming up here. And it's got only two branches coming off of it. One of them growing out and the other one was kind of just growing right to back towards the other one so I'll save the one growing out and probably cut it back quite a bit that's just back to another prune point that I've already pruned it at so that's the main trunk going up there take that off, that off. this one has another piece so I've got my larger pruners here there's basically four kind of stumps here coming out. This one is the biggest one that has the most distance with no growth on it. And so I got my larger pruners here just so I can snap that off easier than with the smaller ones. Really don't know how well this thing's going to be able to pull up and heal. 
I said, if I figure if I take that whole thing off, I'd have to carve it. I'd rather have it heal maybe and just be part of a kind of a clump style. But we'll see, you know, like where time takes it. And then there's another, this one's a little bit of a smaller one. This one, again, just one branch. There's about a, it, the growth, the branch there is about an inch below that. So I'm not going to take it right down to the branch. I'm just going to take it kind of close-ish. Still live wood. The way this thing pops out suckers and everything else, there's always a chance it might get another one right at the edge of the branch there. And then the last one is really small, but it's kind of, you know, off to the side. And it's got some healthy growth coming off there. It's a little long. I probably should go ahead and cut that off. This one I was just at, but that is a little bit long too. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of take it down to a little bit of a better size. I'm gonna go for for my jogs. I've seen somebody with one of these trained as a tree, but I take different routes every time on my jog, and I and I kind of forgotten where it is. I keep uh, if they have it trained as a tree. It looks pretty good. It looks a little more like a fountain of a vine coming up out of the trunk instead of anything, you know more tree-like than that, which is probably what I'm going to have to settle for here. Really don't see these branches being very pliable for wire. I mean, I can water my trees every day, but I can't be monitoring the wire every day like that, so... But I do try to take and just bend them down just a little, little and just kind of usually wait till I hear just a little cracking just so they're not all sticking up like that. I'll leave that one sticking up now. It is a little bit closer to a wound than that one. Oh, well, I got these big pruners in here. Might as well go ahead and try to hit that too. And again, there's a little bit of green in there. So even though I didn't get right down to where the branch is, it could always pop another bud there or something. I said I got no reference to uh, how these things might heal wounds up. Keeping a close eye on that one there may give me a little bit of an idea of how it heals up wounds because that'll be the smallest one. It's got a live branch coming out of there. It looks like it's close enough to heal it up if it does heal up like other ones do. But that's what the base looks like. Got this ugly part there. I think I showed that in that other video a little bit better. I'll include that link in the description. But I'll have to, I'll have to do something, some kind of carving or something like that there. Let's see how it progresses. I just pruned that jasmine, and I figured, I, I think that video is only gonna last about five minutes or so. So I figured I'd go ahead and do some work I was gonna do on this guy here sooner or later as well. This should only take a few minutes too. But when I, when I got this, I got this a couple weeks ago, I included it at the end of one of the videos, and I mentioned that I have like this just self-imposed rule that I don't like to uh, do much pruning, cleaning, or anything like that on these trees until I've had them for a little while and just kind of learn to know the, you know, learn the growth habit a little bit and everything. I broke the rule about a week ago in that I actually cut the end of this one off and like three or four over here because they were way out here that grow, it grows a lot really quick. I, it made the, uh, the growth, the sucker growth down here really explode. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to clean it up in that I'm not going to, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to wire this. I think I'm going to keep it as a clip and grow. Most of the information I see, I've found uh, say that, you know, most people clip and grow them. It does seem really twiggy. I mean, when I try to bend this around, it seems like it could just snap any minute. I know once the wire's on there, it'll kind of help hold it in place. But right now I'm just worried about kind of getting it healthy and again, learning, you know, me learning the growth habit of the tree. But... I don't like all these suckers down there the way it's going. Right out of the stump on that one. And then, you know, it probably has so much. This thing has, I'll, I'll go out here, it has a, you know, a pretty thick trunk, you know, for just uh, being pre bonsai. And it comes right up almost to a 90 degree angle and goes that way and then comes right back, the dreaded S curve. But it's got so many that are actually growing, like this piece right here. It's actually going right out of the stump and right out of the top of the tree. And so I don't really want, I don't want that there. And then there's just a ton of growth on the inside of the curve. 
See, I might leave some growth down here on it, even though I think the most impressive part of it is this nice aged looking trunk. But I can tell that this has been freshly repotted. And it may have been repotted with a little bit of a health issue, and maybe that was the reason why they repotted it. So that's another reason I don't want to go, I don't want to go butchering up too much, but I also really just don't want a bunch of unkeepable growth either. Here, this branch is coming. You now this guy's the trunk coming this way, and then this branch right here is growing up past the other curve. I mean, this one that I actually said I pruned before because it was getting too long, and shorten up some of those. Just basically try to take out everything that I feel like 100% can't be part of a permanent tree. And some of these branches here, that's coming off the side. Not in the best place. I probably won't keep it for a long time. I don't really want to take off all the new growth it has right now either. There's so much, and so much of it growing at so many weird places. But I will shorten some of it up. This piece is dead. This little chunk here is dead. And that is just way too much on the inside of that curve there. And you know, sometimes my self imposed rule is for a reason. Because every now and again, when you think I'm just going to cut a little bit off, you wind up cutting quite a bit. I don't like the way that's kind of going that way. I'd rather have it kind of keep with the flow of the tree, but I think I will leave it since, since I pretty much cut everything else off. But now that I did clean it up a little bit, I want to kind of show, really is an interesting looking bark, already has some age look to it. Looks like it might have had a rough life, maybe sitting in the back of the nursery someplace where sprinkler was missing it, or maybe it was just forgotten about for a little while or something. But now I can kind of keep a closer eye on it and just see, see if I can kind of control the growth a little bit better and see if I can improve it some as I go.